Vivi, come sit. Come sit. Put your hands down. Oh! <laughs> I'm Sarah Foster, and this is Mom Diaries. I have two girls, which is my payback in life. My mom used to always tell me when I was a teenager, like, you're gonna have daughters, and it is gonna be payback. And I used to be like, I will have boys. Valentina is 11, we call her Vivi. She's only Valentina if she's in trouble. Josie is six, she's Josephine when she's in trouble. If you were gonna describe me in three words oh God. as a mom, what would it, three words be? Funny. Okay. Bad cook. Uh, mean. Okay, now say something nice. Uh, Nothing nice? The mornings are pure chaos. Every morning, it's like I am pleading and begging them to get up. Like, it's like a negotiation. And then I start making school lunches. And my kids are not the kind of kids where you can just throw in some like animal crackers and like a carrot stick. They want like gourmet in their snack, okay? My 11 year old is a vegan. You try cooking for an 11 year old vegan, it's brutal. So, it didn't sleep great, but it's gonna be a long day. So that's a huge win for me because I do the school lunches, he does the breakfast. This is normally what he does, oatmeal. Because he's a creature of habit, she loves these brioche rolls. Today I'm gonna put a turkey burger in the brioche roll. Um, maybe some chips and hummus. Luckily the 11 year old now can dress herself and do her own hair. Vivi, are you dressed? Yeah. Oh, your hair looks cute. Wear it like that. No, no, yes, why? It looks so cute. Josie, she has terrible style. For a while, she was digging out of the dirty clothes to wear the same um, sweater every day, like stains on it from food, and it would be like, I have to wear that sweater. So we're usually late to school every morning. It's a school right now, but we're probably not gonna be on time. And whose fault is that? Yours. It's not my fault. When you're a mom, what will you do differently than like what I do? I don't want to be a mom. I want to live life and be free. The second they're the last ones out of the car, I'm like, <gasps> three days a week, two minimum. I'll drop them off and I'll go to the gym. And I'll work out for like 45, 50 minutes and then I'll usually go to Aaron's, my sister. We have a fashion brand, which is called Favorite Daughter. And then we have our podcast. So not only am I trying to like work on my time management with work stuff, but then I don't ever want to miss a parent-teacher conference. I don't ever want to miss taking them to school. I don't ever want to miss putting them to bed unless of course you have to. But I'm really gone all day. Like after school activities, I'm usually not there for. That's just how it is because I'm building my businesses. Josie is doing a little performance. Becoming a mom and having children, it is it changes your life. And it should. You are no longer the most important person in your universe. You're just not. There are curveballs all the time. And the way that I handle curveballs is, well, first of all, I'm really lucky because I live in a city where my family lives. My mom lives here. I genuinely don't know what I would do without my mom. Ooh. Hi, Tara. Okay. Let's play memory match. Okay. It is really important that my kids have relationships with all their extended family all over the world. I love that the Amazon Glow creates a virtual shared space to learn, play games, and create with remote friends and family. Yeah. They feel like they're actually in the same room with loved ones. Finish my sentence. Oh, no, I do, I'm gonna draw what I'm really good at. Two hearts. Grandma knows how to draw hearts. I love you, Josie. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. How cool is that? Okay, you vacuum, it's a vacuum to delete everything. This one it's like an interactive projector. Yeah. You can help me draw Grandma. Okay. I'm not looking well. Wow, <laughs> that's a, Josie, she's an artist, I don't know what else to say. It's so much better than just a video call.
and listen, it's like really hard for me, but I, I really don't pick my kids up from school. It's like that, it's that time. It's like, it's that 3 p.m. time, like I'm at work. They're okay with it. You know, they're like, mom works. Like mom works and that's cool that mom works. And so after their sports, they'll come home. Josie, I bathe, like I, we do bath time and like our whole thing. And that's when I can finally get get her to start opening up about her day. Subconsciously, or I guess consciously, I have created a thing with my girls where they tell me everything. I mean, down to the littlest thing. I mean, she'll come home and she'll be like, ah, George looked at me funny today. And I feel like, what do you think that means? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like he looked, what, show me the look, you know? And like I'm always, she's like, she's like, well, he did this thing. And, and I'm like, oh my God, this is all I ever wanted because I didn't do that with my mom, you know? Raising kids is so hard, and I don't care how many parenting books you read, it's all it's all relative, because not every kid is the same. When I found out I was pregnant, I immediately was like, oh my God, I am way too selfish to be a mother. Like, I like to do what I wanna do, when I wanna do it, how am I gonna take care of another human, and still stay in bed all day? Like, I just didn't know what kind of mom I would be. Cut to, <laughs> I am really strict. My kid is the only kid, she's gonna be 12, she's in fifth grade, she's the only kid in her whole class that doesn't have a phone. And she'll come home and she'll be like, oh, you're the meanest mom, you're the meanest mom, you're the meanest dad, I hate you guys. And I remember that feeling of like, when you're a kid, you think they hate you, they think that, th and they don't realize that it's all for them. What's the Zoom link thing? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. I'm, I'm so sorry, one second. Get in chair room for the second I get on my phone call, you decide to come in here and disturb me. Get away. Um, I'm gonna um go on Instagram for a bit. Um, it's not really letting me into my Zoom meeting. I'm really sorry. We meet at the dinner table usually around seven. It doesn't always happen, but I think mandating like dinners are together, I think is so nice. Can you believe I let you stay up this late? I don't know who is like bedtime is so beautiful and bedtime is so glorious and so sweet. Josie, did you brush your hair? Bedtime sucks. Bedtime is a nightmare. I have to beg them to go to bed. They don't want to go to bed. I'm really strict about bedtime and other nights are easier than others and tonight is just, it's not gonna be great. They're always hungry 30 seconds before the bedtime. All of a sudden it's like I'm starving. It's like, well, you should have eaten more dinner. I know we all say this about our kids. We're like, they have the most special qualities. There's no kids like them, but I really think there's no kids like them. <laughs> you locked me on the stairs. You said, stay on the stairs. Oh, for, for the, I didn't lock. The stairs are an open space. There uh -uh. was no locking. Uh -uh. No. This, uh -uh. Is, this is an ambush. She's wrong. When we were when we were little, we had a gate on the, we had a oh. gate. We had a gate so, on the stairs. So that you guys didn't fall and break your necks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally. That was for your safety. Oh, sure. Also, okay, we're done.